Hey, welcome back to Get and Stay Fit, your blog for losing weight, keeping it off, getting fit, and feeling amazing. Um, I'm in my new apartment in Dallas today, and I'm about to make a meal, so I said, why don't I film it and show you guys a very quick, simple, easy option uh, for a healthy dinner. Um, and you know it's quick, simple, and easy because I just moved in, and I literally have to my name right now, this skillet, hello skillet, um, this wooden spoon, and this knife. Okay, kind of serious knife, but a good knife makes a good chef. Um, not that I'm saying a chef, I just like to cook. Um, so this meal's really quick. Uh, I'm making it for one, but you could easily make this, you know, just by instead of using, uh, it's gonna be, sorry, let me tell you what you're gonna eat first or what I'm eating. It's um, some tilapia. We're gonna have some sauteed tilapia or pan-fried tilapia um, with uh, some mixed vegetables. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the ingredients. Okay, so this is, um, you know how you can get the fish frozen in the grocery store? So I got the frozen individually wrapped. Uh, these are wild caught, I believe, tilapia. Um, you know, you can go with what you want to go with. I'm just out of school, so I'm working on a budget. Tilapia is a fairly low-cost fish. Um, in addition to that, um, we've got some vegetables here. Uh, these frozen, these are the steam in the pouch kind of vegetables. They actually came from, uh, from the Green Giant. So this is their healthy vision. It seems to be single serving size. They say two servings. Um, I think that you should have at least uh, two handfuls, like this much vegetables with every meal. So I'm pretty sure for me that's one serving of vegetables. Um, but you know, the important thing is to look on the back of the ingredients. It's carrot, zucchini, and green beans in a sauce. And the sauce contains water, enzyme modified butter, salt, and modified cornstarch. So um, two modified, like weird kind of things that maybe aren't necessarily real food. Um, I'm fine with that. So when I look at ingredients, I try and keep it below three. Another thing I always look at is the sugar content. There's three grams of sugar in here um, because when you check, when things come with sauce, you never know how much sugar they're actually putting in there. Um, three grams is cool with me. I try and keep it below 10. Um, below five ideally, but you know, I'll go up to 10 sometimes. Um, so anyway, so we've got these vegetables. Oh, the vegetables I just showed you, green giant vegetables, um, and the tilapia, uh, and now we're gonna make a meal. It's gonna be quick. So here's a tilapia. I just literally put some salt and pepper on it. Um, I put some spray in the pan. And I'm gonna put these salt and pepper side down into the pan. Nice. And now I'm just going to um, salt and pepper the other side. All right, I am working with limited uh, silverware and plates also, so I'm gonna rinse that plate off. Uh, usually I probably just have another clean plate sitting near, but I don't have one, so give me a second to rinse this plate. So the tilapia cooks pretty quickly. Um, again, like I said, it's a pretty healthy, lean fish. Um, it's fairly low in calories. Um, I had a pretty busy day today. I've been running around Dallas, moving stuff in and out of the car, and so uh, I'm kind of hungry. And so I'm gonna have two pieces. You could have one piece. Uh, you could have two pieces, depending on how you feel. The most important part is to stop when you're full, um, and that takes a while to learn. It's not the easiest thing to learn how to do, but once you do uh, learn how to stop when you're full, you're gonna see your weight loss um, or your weight maintenance get a whole lot easier. One great way to figure that out is to actually try and make a game of it for about two weeks. And so for two weeks, stop, you know, halfway through your plate and say, am I full yet? Then, you know, if you still feel hungry, go ahead, eat another quarter of that plate. So like, this is your plate, stop halfway through the plate. Then if you're still hungry, eat another quarter of the plate. And then stop again and say, am I still hungry? Um, and try and stop there and leave at least three quarters on the plate and see if you can make it through the day. Uh, that way you'll start to notice kind of what it feels like to be full, what the signals are that your body's sitting you when you're actually full. Uh, because to be honest, most people don't know. Most people aren't really able to feel that. We come from a culture where it's really, you know, never on the plate, gotta eat it up, gotta eat it up, gotta eat it up. That's not true. Um, and that's really how you put on weight. So let's see, it looks like I better turn these fish over. I told you it's quick. So again, no spatula, gotta work with a wooden spoon. So I'm just gonna flip this one. Yeah, he's looking good. And flip. Woo. That one. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> Smoke it up a little, so I'm just gonna turn the fire down some there. Good. So I'm gonna let those keep cooking. Another thing to notice about this meal is that it's uh, it's starch, it's carby, starch, starchy carb free. 
um, having a low protein with vegetables. Um, I might have a glass of wine with it, haven't decided yet. Uh, on average, I probably have about five glasses of wine a week before I start counting them as like cheats, as you know, as something extra. And so far, that's worked for me. Uh, don't necessarily say that's going to work for you. You guys figure out what works for you by trying it out. Um, but anyway, your meal, you know, should consist primarily of proteins and vegetables. And then, you know, if you want to add a little something here and there um, for carbohydrates, the starchy carbs like breads, pastas, that kind of stuff. You know, I would say if you have to have it have it at breakfast or, you know, within three hours of working out, so the meal that you have after your workout. Otherwise, try and keep it out of your life um, or keep it as a treat. All right, so is he ready yet? Almost. Still cooking. So let that still cook. Um, let's see. What else can we talk about while this is cooking? Well, I guess we could talk about kind of how often you should be eating. So now you see what I'm eating. Maybe we talk a little bit about how I eat um, and how I think you might want to eat. Uh, what I find that works very well is eating every two to three hours. So, um, you know, if you have a 18 hour day, which I guess most people do, um, eating every two to three hours is going to cause you to eat about, you know, six, six or seven times throughout the day. You want to have meals that aren't so large. So this is probably going to be my largest meal of the day and I kind of missed the last mini meal that I would have had. Um, and exactly, you want to think of them as mini meals. And every serving size should be um, you know, if it's not vegetables, it should be the size of the palm of your hand or no larger. And you know, you're saying, oh, that's not enough food. Well, it is, especially considering you're only going to be eating every two to three hours. Then, um, you know, your vegetables should be about if you had two cupped hands worth of food. All right, I think he's ready. So I'm just going to slide these off of the pan onto the clean plate. Oh, stick it a little. Stick it a little. No worries there. Okay, I'm going to add a little water to this pan. A little water is kind of, some chef is going to die when I say this, but it's kind of a way to deglass the pan to get all that good kind of crunchy bits up off the pan. And now I'm going to add these vegetables. So I just cut the bag open. I know it says steam and serve. I'm just going to saute them and serve. It's just a suggestion, right? So now they're in here. I'm literally just going to saute them up like this. I know it went wrong. I'm looking at my fish like, why did the fish stick? I forgot to add olive oil. So um, fat is not a bad thing. Fat is really actually good for you when it's the right kind of fat. Olive oil is a great fat. Um, and what fat does, one of the things it does, besides help to keep you full, is also it helps your body to absorb certain vitamins. Some vitamins are water soluble, that means they dissolve in water. And some vitamins are fat soluble, it means they dissolve in fat. So you need to have a little bit of fat in your diet to ensure, one, that you stay full and feel full, and two, um, that you're getting all the vitamins you need to get. So I'm just going to saute these up a little bit more, or stir them around, I should say. Whoops, last one carrot. And it's been on medium heat. I'm going to turn it up to high heat, well, medium high, I guess. give it one last kind of push through. Um, so you can see this is a pretty quick meal. As soon as these vegetables are done, like the meal is done. I'm going to put them on my one clean eating plate that I have. Um, so I have two plates actually. That way, you know, I don't have to do dishes after every single meal. And, um, and then that's going to be dinner. So just give it one more whirl. Nice. I like to taste, make sure that it's all right, so I'm just going to grab a green bean here. Hot. Mmm. Cooked and tasty. Now it's time to serve. Okay, surface isn't too hot. This is a plastic plate, by the way. Turn the stove off. I'm just going to put these veggies onto the plate. Good. Pan into the sink. My fish onto the veggies. There we go. Good. And I'm going to add a little pepper, okay, some freshly cracked uh, black pepper. This is one thing, you know, when your friends come over and have one of these, I mean, I think it's like two or three bucks. Uh, I got it at Target. And you can get it, of course, at the grocery store. I just happened to be at Target today, getting things like 
garbage cans and uh, some spices and a blender so I can make my protein smoothies. Um, but anyway, get one of these and you can just fresh black powder, madame, or pepper, not powder. Nobody wants powder on their food, pepper. You know, give it a little twist, kick it off, and that's dinner. So, mmm, whoop. All right, I'm gonna go eat this and uh, tune in again soon to Get and Stay Fit, your blog for losing weight, keeping it off, getting fit, and feeling amazing, where we teach you how to act fit, eat smart, that's my meal I'm pointing to, and be amazing. All right, looking forward to hearing from you. Please give me any comments that you have, and also I just wanna say a big thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has been sending me emails and saying that you enjoy the blog. I really appreciate that, and you know, if there's anything that you wanna hear about or know more about, let me know, and I'll be sure to put it up there. Oh, look, it's Spraga. Here, let's see the dog. I know I'm touching the dog I'm going to eat. I'll wash my hands. Spraga, say hi. Say hi. Mwah. All right. Bye, guys.